Hey guys, took me a while to get that camera set up, but here's part three. We're at Thief Baker. I'll give you guys a little tour. And uh, here's my tent. Uh, I know what you're thinking. How is that guy going to fit in that tent? <laughs> it's pretty small. Take you a tour here. It's a birthday boy. Hey. Eh? He's giant, chained up. Here's the tie out there. I got the pail here. Dog food there. Dog food there for Melody. And she's chained up right there. So the way I got it set up is they're just long enough so they can share the water pail. So, yeah. And all my stuff here. I talked to the guy at the gas station. He says he doesn't care if I camp here. He looks after the the place there at uh, or this this camp area. So if he doesn't care, then then I don't care. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna finish setting this up. So if you guys want to join me? That's cool. Now, this is the outbound uh, two-person tent. I did a review on it. Oh, back last 2018 October maybe. 2019. No, it was 2019. Yeah, that's right. The last, last season. I used it moose hunting. It's a little small. I should have got a three-person tent, to be honest. Just not much room for your head and feet. I can fit in it, but it's tight. So I wouldn't do it again. Yeah, I kind of don't, don't prefer it. But I'd rather do this than bring my big honking tent. It's just, I like quick, quick setups, easy takedowns, you know. So this is a lot nicer because in the morning I can wake up and peel this tent down and no time flat. And that's pretty much it other than the fly. I'll put the fly on there. And I don't think I have any other poles. I might have one more pole for the fly. I'm not too sure. I'll have to check and see. Anyways, there's some writing on it. I gotta see which side it's on. Can't really see because I'm right there, dude. Yeah, I don't think it. I don't think it's just a freaking pole. Is it? I guess I don't know. <laughs> Are just basically facing right in. I think it helps to keep a little bit of heat in. Let me see here. Pretty freaking standard. You can set this up in the dark, guys. It's a pretty easy tent. If you're tent shopping, what I recommend is um, a tent that uh, takes two poles. Two poles, the crisscross design is very straightforward you can do it in the dark so that's that's my suggestion uh, then i use pegs use pegs all the time because you just never know when the wind picks up you know it picked up in the middle of the night and you're not really expecting it and it wake you up and piss you off That's all the four poles now. All right, so I'll get touch into a little bit of my gear here. I'm going to show you guys. Just here, you, I'll just take you with me. Come on with me. Get out of the way, dog. All right, all right. This is my bed. It's not my seat bed, but my bed. Let me just throw that over there. Chair. You know what? I'll leave that in there for now. My sleeping bag's inside the car. Now oh, we'll set up this. We'll set up this uh, bed first. These things are really cool. Oh, did I just do that? Son of a bitch. 
did I do that? Frickin' zoomed off in the end. Why did that even happen? Quiet, boy. No one likes a fucking whiner. Oh, excuse my friend. Well, we'll piss around with that another time. Get this going here. I gotta piss so goddamn bad, but no bathrooms. So, probably what's gonna happen is Jason's gonna uh, water a tree around here, I think. I think that's how that's gonna go. <laughs> Two straps. Laying on the ground. I haven't done that for a while. So with this guy, I flip it the opposite roll down. Let it expand because it's got some sponge in there. Let the sponge open up. Let the air go in. And I'll add some more to it. Probably pump it up as much as I can and then you turn it and shut it closed yeah and that's basically it I grab my sleeping bag where the heck did I put it better grab that bought this net at the gas station guys this thing is sweet cost me enough no I don't even want to get into it but uh Colin if you're watching you owe me a net because I remember buying the last one. I don't know where the hell it went. It could be at the bottom of the lake somewhere or in his boat. But anyways, this thing should work for most trout. I don't want to. I don't want to lose a big one, so I said screw it, buying one. You know how it is. You kind of better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So. Yeah, I can use this all year anyway. So, so yeah, what's it made by? Grubs or something? Gibbs. Can you guys see that? Gibbs. Huh. Yeah. Got that nice rubber mesh. Anyways, get this sleeping bag going. Here's my uh, Dewalt cooler. This thing is freaking awesome. Very solid. Very solid. Five days of ice retention or something like that. I think if I'm uh, gonna treat myself tonight, I might have myself a whiskey. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to be drinking on May long, so I won't have a whiskey. That's right. Quiet, dog. What? You want a whiskey? You want one? Oh, didn't think so. Well, I don't know when this has been used last. Probably his dirt from. Frickin' 2017 for all I know. Oh, we'll just flop that up there. Let it maybe air out again. Hopefully there's no bugs in it. It's been in the basement. Anyways, I'll pump this baby up. Okay, so this is how I do it. Open this up. Up like that. Seal it off? No. You take it right off? No, you don't take it right off. I don't know if that's working. <gasps> well, that's as good as that's going to get. All right. Zippy, zippy. And now... Uh, to answer your guys' questions if you're wondering, oh, why don't you put the dogs in there with you? No, not happening. The, uh, <clears throat> the thing is with dogs, is they were born with a fur jacket, so they're good to go. <clears throat> if it gets wet or raining or something like that, maybe I'll put them in the car, you know. But I think we're going to be okay. Okay, I better give you guys 
got the tour. You guys are gonna laugh when you get in here. It's not very big at all. Oh. Look at this. I don't know what this mat or how long it is, but my feet are gonna be in that corner. My head will be in that corner. So if you stretch out the tent as much as you can with the pegs, it's doable. I know, because I've done it. Other than that, this tent sucks. So, ah, I should say it sucks for the money. Can't remember what it was, 30 bucks or something. It's all right. Anyways, I think that'll wrap up this video, guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for checking it out. Next video, hopefully, you're going to see the wet, slimy trout. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh Chief's freaking barking.